hello. So, I'm gonna sew up like a hat. <laughs> um, yeah, that should be fun. A little bit about my sewing experience. I have none. I have never sewn a single thing in my life. Never used a sewing machine. Never even done hand sewn anything. Like, nothing. So, um, but my mom on the other hand, she's actually really good at this stuff. She's like a friggin' seamstress. Um, so definitely gonna need her help. Um, and yeah, just I hope you enjoy watching this if you get through it. Thank you so much And if you're watching this then it probably means something good or decent came out of this Let's go Good idea not a, not a designer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? You can take course online, designer. Yeah. <laughs> why not? You're young. So I'm doing this on the floor because my desk is not facing a window. It's facing right, it's actually right across the window. No. It's on the opposite wall of the window and I'm very stupid and I thought that would be a good idea. And I don't want to move my bed because it's really bulky. So I'm not gonna, you know, video, I'm not gonna sew there because bad lighting and I can't give you guys bad content. So we're on the floor. The beautiful floor okay let's i'm gonna now cut and trace and all that amazing stuff so i am going to be using this beautiful plaid cotton fabric but because it's really thin and less dirty we're having this nice canvas material much more thick it'll be a nice base for our hat our bucket hat and this is the layout since I am using two different fabrics, I have to double all my patterns. So four headbands, eight brims, and two circle tops. Why did I get so much material? And it, there's still a whole side left to it. I mean, I can just do other stuff with this. If I'm successful at this, I can become a seamstress. kind of smart for this I think I'm a little smart for this okay you, ha you have to admit it's let me just show you we are using bobby pins instead of needles because um those are hurting my fingers so look at that nice 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 okay guys I'm cutting my last brim so let's hope this goes well Oh my gosh, guys, I got my um, pajama pants. <laughs> got my pajama pants with the fabric and the needle. I'll show you. Like, oh my god, no, look at that. Over here, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. So, with the scraps of my brim, I think I have a good idea. You, you know, uh huh. Because the stress of just cutting is literally getting to me so much. Um, I think it's equivalent to the stress I have when I'm taking, no, when I have like multiple homework from all my classes during school time. I haven't gotten to that exact point yet, but I'm pretty sure I will. And yeah, so sh I should definitely make a crown out of this. I think it's a very creative idea. If you would like to see the mess I have going on. Look how much vacuuming I'm gonna have to do. Please don't disturb me because I'm trying to relax with my plaid face mask on because I'm stressing over sewing a bucket hat. <sighs> It's so quirky. <laughs> I have been cutting the fabric for one hour. One hour? One hour. Oh my gosh, that's so much time. And I literally have to cut another, the other fabric too, so. Oh my gosh. 
I suck at cutting fabric to oh my gosh what am I setting myself up to what am, what am I doing you see this right dirty bam voila beautiful can someone tell me where where does this like where do I put this I have no clue where do I put this like do I just stick it in there? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Right? Right? I don't know. I'm so excited guys. I think I actually did a decent job. I probably can't even tell, but look. And look at that, like, <laughs> see, look, I actually think I did a decent job. Yeah. I have been looking for this for days, and it's just laying here in my mom's room. So I have to iron this because, as you can tell, it's not really flat, so ironing it just makes your job so much more easier, much more flatter. You should definitely do this because it's really helpful. Hello guys, so I have sewed the headband and look at that, we have the first part for a hat. Hi, I'm a chef now, um, <laughs> where I'm graduating. We have a problem, so <laughs> there's extra materials so that means this is probably not going to fit my head because I tried it on my head and it doesn't exactly fit. I think I cut them too short. Um, so yeah, this might not fit me. <laughs> That's just, you know, amazing. But yeah, I don't know what to do with this extra on this. Do I just like fold it over and stitch it? I'm gonna ask my mom because I have no clue what to do, but I think that's what I'm supposed to do. So my mother is helping me with the attachment of these two things because it's more difficult. Um, and she's just going for it. Oh, it's not focusing. She's not even like um, pinning it down or anything. She's too good, guys. She's too good for us. goes well and then I literally mess it up so <laughs> not the most uneven I mean even it's the very most uneven I mean, you'll see but yeah oh shoot yeah I like definitely messed it up if you can tell over here it just went way out so I have to fix that and make it go more that way <laughs> see this is why it literally takes me forever because I make all these little freaking mistakes Okay, this is the best we're getting. Why is this literally not getting fixed? Whatever. This is the best we're getting. One down, one more to go. Okay, guys, this is my brim. I, I actually did it. I pulled it off, and we have a brim. This is going to be the main part of our head. So now I'm making some lines with chalk along my brim to sew along to make it more sturdier. But, hint, hint, I do not follow the lines. Shoot. My, because I have, like, multiple layers, it's, like, incredibly, like, thick over here. Like, right here. So, it's, like, how am I going to sew over that? Because, like, there, there's, like, there's, like, four layers in total instead of two. So, that's a problem. For another time. Just kidding. It's for now. <laughs> Guys, this is with no sewing experience. Woohoo! Yay! I'm so excited. Hello, so it's me again. 
because it's the end of the video. Yay! Um, so I just want to say if you want to do this with no sewing experience, you should go ahead and try. Good luck. But I mean, I did it, but still, I do recommend you do this with some practice beforehand because if you don't, you'll be like me and end up spending like 13 hours in total on this project. And I don't think you need to spend that much time on this because I literally spent like half of my time taking out the thread, putting it, and then sewing it again because I'm trying to, I'm a freaking perfectionist. It didn't turn out perfect, but it turned out decent. So that was my goal for my first try. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say.